I want to teach you how to set three different types of tables only because I think that we need a little bit of variation depending on the type of event you're going to have. A luncheon, a breakfast, a brunch, a dinner party, whatever it is that you're going to have. And I'm going to say it again, do what you love. There is a thing called etiquette, and etiquette simply means little signs to tell you the direction that you should go. That doesn't mean that you have to follow it exactly, but I want to tell you that I love this little tool set that I have that I keep in my back pocket to be able to pull out whenever I want. I may not use this at Chick-fil-A, I may not use this at Chili's, I may not use this all the time, but I know that it's in my tool chest in order to use it when I need to bring out those skills. So let's start with a basic table setting. This is just, you're sitting around for dinner, you have a few friends over, maybe you're just even setting the table for your family, which I absolutely love because I wanna treat my family better than anyone else. That's my heart on that. I believe that our family is our first priority and they should get the very best of us. So let's start with basic. I personally love a good placemat. This is a little bit formal and a little bit sparkly and there are so many different types of placemats out on the market. You can even use a paper placemat, which I have used in the past because, especially when you have littles, because then you can just throw that away. Placemat goes down first. You don't have to have a placemat. You can just have your tablecloth or just bare table. You don't need to have a tablecloth either. But then you wanna put your napkin to the left of your table setting. Next, I'm gonna put a plate, okay? The plate's gonna go right down on top, and then I'm gonna put my fork to the left of my plate and my knife to the right of my plate. That is really basically your basic table setting. This is a little water goblet or tea or drink. I put everything in these. These are my personal glasses here. So you're gonna put that slightly to the right of the actual plate. In a basic table setting, you're probably not gonna have a wine glass or any other types of beverages, but you're gonna just have one glass, one plate, fork, and knife. Now I wanna show you a casual place setting. We have a few other variations of placemats that I wanna share with you. This, I love this one for some reason. I'm all about pink right now. So we have just a general, pink one, but it's a little bit snazzy. This is a little bit more everyday casual. Then this one's a little bit snazzy as well. Just whatever you love, you can do any placemat that you love. For a casual place setting, and I'm gonna tell you, I'm more of a casual to formal girl. I do love basic on um, everyday dining, but man, when my friends come over, I love to just snazz it up because I love to host people and I love to love on them. So, we're gonna start with a basic charger. This is an option. You can leave it in or take it out, whatever you prefer, but I love a good charger. I love layers. Layers of everything make all the difference. Let me show you another one that I love. If I'm entertaining girls, I'm gonna bring it all out because I love to make girls feel beautiful and special. So this little scallop edge makes all the difference for me. So either one of these you can use. I'm gonna use a scallop edge because I love this so much. Of course, when you're setting that, these are little details that I want you to know about. Make sure that you're setting the top at the top and that's not your top. So be a little bit specific in your settings so that whenever you're setting that, this is literally at the top. So we start with that. Then we go to our dinner plate. That goes down first after your charger. And then, oh, this is a salad plate. And for a dinner setting of this type, we're gonna add a salad plate. And that goes right on top of the dinner plate. If you're going to serve soup, then you put your soup bowl right on top of that. If you're not gonna serve soup, obviously don't put that on there and then you just have your salad plate. You can also take your napkin, instead of setting it to the side, you can take a nice little handy dandy napkin ring. These are so fun to collect. You can come and collect them at antique stores, a craft shop, 
You can absolutely go on Amazon and search around. I'll see if I can find one like this and you can even make them. So I just place that in there and lay that right on top of that salad plate. And then of course your fork goes here, your knife goes here. If you're gonna serve soup, this can go to the side or it can take this off and then just use your folded napkin on the side like we showed you earlier. And also always put the folds on the inside. We wouldn't do that on the outside. That goes on the inside so that what the guest sees is all folded and nice. Um, so that goes there and then your, your fork goes here, knife goes there, your teaspoon would go next and then your soup spoon and then your bowl goes on top of that. That would be a casual setting. This can also be very formal, but formal adds a lot more stuff to the plate, to the setting. You're also gonna take your beverage goblet glass and you're gonna put that over to the right. If you have coffee, that's gonna be up over to the right, just slightly with that goblet. But that is a little bit more of a casual setting for your table. A full formal setting is gonna be more for a banquet or more for a very formal environment that you might be attending. But we'll do that on another video later, but more importantly, I just wanted to show you the options here for your setting. Again, you can take that off, you can put your napkin in the center, keeping everything here. You can also have what I like as a little appetizer plate, and that can go right on top of that napkin if you want, or it can go um, just on top of your salad, putting this napkin back on the left. I wanna emphasize to you that it is literally the heart behind the intention that is the most important thing. I truly believe as women, it is our job to create an atmosphere of warmth, of invitation, of hospitality. It is our job to put our heart in on the table. In the Word of God, we see how many times bread was broken around fellowship, which means people ate together, which is such a sacred time to be together is at the dinner table. So I just wanna encourage you to build some time into your calendar, build some time into your heart to take that one little extra step forward to first bless your family. First bless your family. It's not that important to be perfect at every setting, but it's the heart's intention behind the ideas that I'm showing you here. This is to just take you from, I know, already good to great in your life.